Hey everyone, uh, welcome to the session on invert the pyramid testing. Uh, I know the terminology might sound a little different or something you might not have heard of, but we'll cover in detail what this exactly means. I am Rohan Bajaj, uh, QA manager and ha having had past experience of over 11 plus years working at Flipkart, Quicker and Nutanix. I'm also an angel investor, which is my another passion apart from quality. Quick intro about me. I am an engineering lead with over 10 and a half years of experience working in various startups across India and Europe. As part of Flipkart's early team from 2012 to 15, where I was part of first couple of big billion day sales of Flipkart. Post that I joined Quicker, which went on to become another unicorn. I was leading their mobile apps, uh, Android and iOS engineering teams, writing code myself and at the same time leading and managing the team. Post that I joined Nutanix, which is a B2B SaaS company and uh, you know, uh, on the lines of hyper-converged infrastructure, uh, competitor of VMware, basically. Uh, later, post that, I also moved to Nutanix Berlin, uh, which is the startup hub of Europe, and was, uh, you know, working for Nutanix out of there and recently moved back to Bangalore, India. Uh, I am also an investor in 35 plus startups across India, US and Europe. Uh, yeah. So let's first begin with what is CI CD. I think most of us might be familiar with, you know, continuous integration and continuous delivery or continuous deployment, what CI CD commonly refers to. And folks might have used various CI CD tools like Jenkins or Circle CI. So, what does CI CD mean? So, CI is the component where, you know, it's a modern software development practice in which incremental code changes are made frequently and reliably. So it's more of a mechanism where developers can, you know, push their smaller changes and those are tested regularly and also reliably by, you know, having unit tests and test automation in place for the same. Whereas CD or continuous delivery on the other hand is the automated delivery or deployment of the completed codes to environments like testing and development. So yeah, uh, ideal case scenario, if the production deployment is also under CD mode, that is the best case where you know, the code at a scheduled time is automatically uh, tested and then deployed to production. But most companies have CI in place and CD is something which is more of a one click or ad hoc trigger. Uh, but some organizations do have complete automation in place where even CD is automated and production deployment also if the test pass is actually automated. Now, what exactly is the missing piece in this? Uh, you know, CI, we covered continuous integration and continuous deployment as well. But do we know what is missing here? So one of the major missing pieces of the puzzle is the time when the CICD implementation starts. So normally it starts pretty late in the cycle, which leads to you know a lot of uh, risk in terms of bugs being caught late in the cycle of the release and therefore the release itself being delayed. So the guarantee of sticking to the release life uh, timelines is put in risk because of the late start. This also leads to compromise in the quality and a lot of automation backlog. So ideally, you know, if the automation of the feature that is going or the project that is going is being developed and is going in a particular release should be done in the same sprint or, you know, like basically before the release, whereas due to a lot of bugs being caught late in the cycle, automation is frequently paused and, you know, more focus is given to manual testing in order to have a decent quality, but it leads to a lot of automation backlog. So how exactly can we fix this? That's where, you know, we are talking about inverting the pyramid or, you know, basically fixing these problems. So what does invert the pyramid testing actually mean? So here in inverted pyramid testing, the testing starts alongside when the development starts and the team involved in basically the QA team is involved in requirements and design discussions as well, which commonly a lot of places they are not, but once they understand the requirements and the design in detail, that helps them to even test, uh, start testing earlier. And also, you know, as soon as the uh, development efforts are starting, the automation or QA team will start creating the test plan and, you know, identifying the uh, locators to be added and create page classes around the same and also uh, REST API wrappers and uh, also the test stubs for the automated tests. So that way, more or less 80% of their automation is ready, uh, you know, alongside when the development is being done. And once the actual changes or development changes are ready for testing, it's all about, you know, validating the tests and uh, adding the required assertions to validate that the expected and the observed behavior match. So this is a way via which development and automation sprints run in parallel. 
and bugs are caught regularly during as and when development happens rather than being crowded towards the end of the cycle putting the release quality at risk and yeah it also leads to avoiding avoiding the automation backlog unnecessary backlog which you know like keeps on piling up and uh, at that one, one point automation backlog can become really big so this is the approach inward the pyramid testing which will help us resolve that so what are the benefits of inverted pyramid testing bugs are actually caught very early in the cycle and it avoids panic during the release so like i mentioned already that as and when the development efforts are ready since we have the automation in place it's quickly about adding the required assertions and validating those via automation itself so they are caught early in the cycle rather than starting automation once development is complete and taking a lot of time for that and then catching bugs pretty late in the cycle and another important feature here is automation is complete soon after dev complete rather than you know maybe months or a lot of days of uh, dev complete because instead of starting automation after dev complete we are beginning it in parallel so that's where the advantage lies that automation complete can be more or less achieved within a week or two after the dev complete and ultimately we are delivering the product for our customers right so a high quality product will be delivered to the customers and also at the same time sticking to the release timelines so this is a practice which will make all your you know product managers and engineering managers pretty happy that you are delivering a high quality product and you are sticking to the release timelines you are avoiding even the last minute rush of bugs so yeah these are the major benefits of inverted pyramid testing let's also quickly look at the importance of agile testing along with inverted pyramid testing so agile testing basically is important because it i think most of us might be familiar what agile is like a lot of companies work on agile methodology these days so it includes testing as an integral part of the shorter uh, software development life cycle or sdlc and we are regularly testing the code with each increment which helps to guarantee the quality of the project so it's part of what ci does but on top of that as well like basically we have unit tests from the developers where uh you know a certain threshold is fixed as the minimum percentage required for unit tests and those are running on each uh code review being raised and at the same time the pre check in automated tests are also being run which helps ca catch bugs and only uh, if the tests pass are the uh, uh you know uh, pull request allowed to be merged and yeah if not they have to fix the bug and then uh, you know address it and ultimately like we covered already high quality product will be delivered sticking to the release timelines if we are combining the best practices of agile with inverted pyramid testing so yeah uh, these were the major uh, content that i wanted to cover uh, regarding an important but really uh, underrated uh, type of testing which is inverted pyramid testing yeah hope uh, i have implemented this successfully in couple of organizations where i have worked it met with some initial resistance from the development team because their bugs are highlighted a lot more but then at the same time they we made them realize within a release that you know rather than having so many bugs on their plate at the last minute and you know uh, management constantly asking both the dev and qa how are we doing with respect to the release the process of bug identification happens much earlier and also with uh, agile and inverted pyramid combined it leads to lot more better development code quality as well as avoids automation backlog so these are the major advantages uh, yeah uh, do try it out and hope uh, you know like i'm sure you'll uh, meet uh, good you'll get good feedback for the same from your organization if this is not yet in place uh, thank you for listening and have a great day ahead bye bye